Shalom, beloved. A word. As I listen to some of the events going on in the nation, the Spirit gave me insight and certain scriptures came to mind. And I want to share it with you so that your eyes can see what my eyes see, beloved. One of the things that came to me as I listen to these events, be it those who take comedic stands to speak their truth in the land of lies, in the land of denies, in the land of despise, those who follow or try to find their way, it does not stop that trumpet that comes forth out of Yah's beloved. Yes, I want to share a word with you that came to me last night. I want to share with you something that was shared with me in the spirit. The one that came to me first was Philippians chapter 1, verses 12 through 15. And that is where we're going to start today. Philippians chapter 1, verses 12 through, through 18. Forgive me. The book of Philippians chapter 1, verses 12 through 18. As we look at this, beloved, and as we watch the spirit, as we, I'm lost, I've lost my screen, forgive me, once again, as I learn how to operate my machine, forgive me. But there's a message coming forth. Book of Philippians chapter 1, verses 12 through 18. The Lord works through all things. He is not one-dimensional, beloved. He works through all things, all people. If he would make the rocks cry out to get his message out there, beloved, he could surely do it through a man or through a woman. He could even do it through an enemy. When you think of the madness of the prophet, he sent a man to curse Yasharel, but Yahuwah would not let that curse go forth out of his mouth. No, beloved, no. And even when the Yeshua, the Messiah, was coming forth, and the people were praising and worshiping and hollering Hosanna, he told them if they would stop, the rocks would cry out. There is a time, beloved, and that time is now that he is making creation cry out. You may hear it in the bouncing of a ball. You may hear it in the comedic stylings of a person speaking, but you will hear it nonetheless. And the more opposition that is created, the further the message goes. Book of Philippians chapter one, starting at the 12th verse. But I would ye should understand, brethren, that the things which happen unto me have fallen out rather unto the furtherance of the gospel, the good news, the basura, if you will, beloved. It has, what has happened to certain individuals, even though there are those who try to put the spotlight on themselves, it has caused a furtherance of the good news, of the truth, of who Yahuwah is and who his people are. Yes, yes, yes. We are going to go through, forgive me if I move about, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You see, when we look in the book of Isaiah, chapter 44, 
at the 19th verse. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? Do you not recognize it, beloved? What is happening? Yes, yes, yes. I will even make a way in the wilderness. Yes, yes, in this place that was not our home. I will make a way in the wilderness, beloved. Mm -hmm. And rivers in the desert. Yes, in the dry land where the word of the Lord is not heard. He's got rivers of living water. That truth is going forth. Even out of the mouths of those who tried to stop it. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go back, beloved. Mm. Let's go back. Philippians. But I would not, you should, but I would, you should understand, brethren, that the things which happened unto me have fallen out rather unto the furtherance of the gospel. There are things that are happening to people that some people think, oh my goodness, they're trying to stop it. No, 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 no. Eyes that see and ears that hear, mm, let them hear. So that my bonds in Christ, who is Christ? The word of the most high, the word of the most high, Yahuwah, the God of truth. Yahshua, who is the way, the truth, and the life. The truth is what you're hearing, beloved even if it comes in the midst of contention. Wait a minute now. So that my bonds in Christ, the word of Yah, mm, are manifesting all the palace, even in the big places, even in the high ups, I got something to say, okay? Mm. And in all other places, they talking about it. Yes, 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 yes. And many of the brethren in the Lord waxing confident in my bonds. You see, there is a man bound. He, he cannot do the work he's known to do. And yet the reason that he cannot do the work he's meant to do, mm, it is being furthered. Yes, yes, yes. Let's keep going. I'm going to give you that revelation that I got late last night. I'm laying in the bed and it's just coming, coming, coming. I turn my head and the, 12, the clock is saying 12, 12. And I'm like, Lord, you're talking to me. I turn away. I'm like, I got to wake up and go to work tomorrow, but keep it on my spirit, Lord. Keep it on my spirit. I couldn't go to sleep. I turned again and the clock said 12, 21. I'm like, you're talking to me, Father. So I'm going to talk to you. Come on, come on now. Mm. So that my bonds in Christ, the word of Yah. Mm are made known in all the palace, in the big places, yes, 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 and in all other places, yes. And many of the brethren in the Lord waxing confident in my bonds. You see, the person is bound. They cannot be free to do those things that they're known to do. Let's keep going. Are much more bold to speak the word without fear. Mm, mm, you hear anybody talking without fear? Mm. Might be somebody standing up with comedic stylings. Might be a man that's known for some controversial conversations. Might be the guy next door. Might be the person listening to you at the store. Might be that high-end spot. Might be anywhere. Wait a minute. Wait a minute now. Mm. And are much more bold to speak the word without fear. Some indeed preach Yeshua even of envy and strife. Yes, yeah, some of them, they talking about it with envy. Oh, no, you think you this and you not. It's creating strife. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait a minute. And some also of goodwill. Wait a minute. We are talking about the word of the Lord. I don't think the person mentioned any harm. They never said a, a bad word. They were trying to get a message out to their people. It was a good intention, even if everything didn't look good. He never wrote a word down beloved. His intentions are good. He's seeking truth. He's seeking knowledge and wanting his people to know. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Mm, mm, mm. Some indeed preach Yeshua, even of envy and strife, and some also of goodwill. The one preach Christ of contention. Mm -hmm. This is just a problem. They run around hate people. Ain't nobody spoke a word of hate, but okay. Mm -hmm. Of one preach Yeshua of contention, 
not sincerely. There's no sincerity in it. The goal is to do something evil. Wait a minute. Hmm. Supposing to add affliction. Oh, my, 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 my. Do we know anybody who is bound, who has been held back from doing what the Lord had them doing? Mm. And they and the people want to add affliction in the person's bonds. Yes, yes. Not even just to the representative that the Most High is using as a trumpet to the people. Mm, mm, mm. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Wait a minute. They want to add affliction to them. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Why are they in their bond? Why are they in their bond? You got to recant everything. Just say it's all a lie. We'll tell you when you write. Really? Okay, let's go. Mm. But the other of love, knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. You got other ones defending. You got some arguing and some supporting. Yes, yes, yes. You got to open your eyes, beloved, because that word is going out, be it through contention or support. While there is a man in bonds, people are looking at, wait a minute, wait a minute. What if them folks are the folks you say them folks ain't? But you tell it that man to recant everything, but it's going out. Mm -hmm. Where's it going out at? Wait a minute. So that my bonds in Christ, the word of God, the truth, mm -hmm. are made known in all the palace. You mean in the high places. That's what you call in the high places. It may know in the high place with the people that got money. Wait a minute. And in all other places. What? I heard about it too. What? I Paul, stick to your guns. You know, you have the spirit of the Maccabees has been loosed on the brothers and the sisters. Stand firm. Do not give the heathen the right to make you deny the covenant that Yahuwah set with his people. Wait a minute. Mm, mm, mm. Some indeed preach it of envy and strife. Some also of goodwill. The one preach Christ of contention, not sincerely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You got people talking about it. You're not even a believer, but he, he got to confess to you. About what? Okay. Wait a minute. Not sincerely. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to keep going to get this out. Mm -hmm. Now we back in the book of Isaiah, chapter 44. Mm -hmm. Starting at the third verse. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty. Yes, that word, that living word, the rivers of living water are pouring out, beloved. Mm-hmm and floods upon the dry ground. You see, there's some dry bones on that dry ground, but you see, somebody's pouring out the word of the Most High, the truth of who that those people are in the valley of dry bones. Who them people? Wait a minute now. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. You see, we're living in a land where they're not honoring the most high, but they want to give honor to a people that you honor who? You, I, I haven't heard the word spread through you, but I've heard the word spread to them folks you say aren't. And the one that is, mm, you want everybody else to hush up? Okay, wait a minute now. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and flood upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed. Why is it coming out like this? The spirit, remember the last days, beloved, and my blessing upon thine offspring. Yes, yes, yes. What you don't understand. You see, Yahuwah will use whom he will. We can just bounce along and he can use whom we will, he will as we just bounce along. Wait a minute now. We're going to finish. Mm. We're in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 18. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. You know, it, some people should just say, hush up, hush up, hush up. The suffering of this present time, whew, it's not even worthy to be compared with the glory which shall.
be revealed. And to finish, and to finish, as we bounce along, as we bounce along, he will use whom he will as a trumpet, beloved, the spirit of the Maccabees are upon brothers and sisters. Wait a minute. Here, where Yahoo has sealed it. And we know that all things, not some things, wait a minute now, all things work together for the good to them that love Yahuwah, to them who are called according to his purpose. Yes, beloved, it is a word. It is a word. Yes, yes, yes. Listen, all things. We know all things work together for the good to them that love Yah, to them who are called according to his purpose. Yes, yes, yes. He can use a bouncing ball to make a noise go around the world to get the folk up in the palace in the rich houses talking. We got to hush this one up. We done locked him up. Now his friend run around telling it. His friend run around telling it. Some of them telling it because they figure they're going to add to his suffering. We're going to add to your suffering. We don't even mean what we saying. We just going to add to your suffering. Mm. Other ones doing it out of love. But make no mistake about it, beloved. Be it through strife, contention, or love, that word mm, 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 is going forth. That that true word, that word of salvation from a land and a nation of a heathenistic, ungodly, lawless intent. Yes, yes, yes. You got to see, behold, I will do a new thing. Now, now, now it shall spring forth. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Shall ye not know it? Shall ye not know it? Shall ye not know it? Mm. Can't you see? Can't you see? Mm. Wait a minute now. I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Yes, that word is just going out. And here's what's interesting. It, got, it really got me. In an attempt to shut it up, it caused others to shout that much louder. They waxed bold because they tried to silence the truth. Yahuwah is using others to take the place of the one he was trying to tell his brothers and sisters something, just dropping a little knowledge here, a little knowledge there. And then they put him in bonds. They put him in bonds. But, ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. But I would, you should understand, brethren, that the things which happen unto me have fallen out rather unto the furtherance of the gospel. Yes, yes, yes. It's going further now. They, they talking about it all over the place. So that my bonds and Yeshua HaMashiach are manifesting all the powers. Them rich folk talking about it. Them so-called idolaters, you know, the I'm a star, people are talking about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And in all other places, hey, we're talking about it. What you know? <laughs> Wait a minute now. And many of the brethren in the Lord waxing confident in my bonds because they tried to bind one up. It created multitudes of others that are going out spreading that good news, that truth of who is who. The same beloved. Mm -hmm. He's pouring out his spirit. So even the one that appears to be bound is being used as a vessel to forward the truth and has even caused those who don't want to talk about it, talk about it that much more, making other people, well, where's it at? I got to see it. I Okay, I see that part was wrong, but what about this other part? When I looked into it, you know, what it's saying here makes some sense. They Who are them people again? You said there ain't nobody, but it looked like there's somebody if I read that scripture right. But I digress below. Mm. But I would, you should understand, brother, that the things which happened unto me, the man, have fallen out rather unto the furtherance of the gospel, the good news. It is word love. Shalom.